Hiya, and thank you so much for taking the time to actually watch my video. Um, this video is just my opinion, if you like, on on how I think a lot of people um, might be heading in, in a direction which they perhaps haven't chosen. Um, I'm going to talk about how I believe that the um, the system, if you like, that we've been raised in is perhaps making us think um, how they want us to think. And we're not actually, um, if you like, using our own minds to um, come to our own conclusion as to what we think is actually right for us. Now, to me, a typical example of this is when we, we obviously leave school, and bear in mind we're young, and we've obviously got people around us that are influencing us in a, um, in a certain direction. It might be that um, someone in your family has a certain career, and, and, and they're heading you in that direction because they know you can earn good money at that career. Um, and obviously it's got, it might have security. But I believe the fundamental mistake um, there is that obviously you're not always choosing what you want to do. Now, to some degree, I think this happened to me. When I left school, um, you know, obviously quite, quite a while ago, um, you know, my dad sent me to get a job, you know, go and get a job, you know, look around and I went for a few different jobs and I happened to get a job in an um, interior design office um, where I was basically just an office assistant, which then led me to going to college and doing architecture. But when I think back on it, um, I was totally, um, no one pushed me into doing it, but it was something that was there in front of me and I kind of headed in that direction. But looking back on it, I, I don't think I'll give it a lot of thought. It was obviously a job. I did quite enjoy doing drawing. And uh, um, obviously that was the way I went. But um, no one really sat me down when I was at school and said to me, what was, you know, what is it you'd really like to do? You know, what is it you're good at? You know, what do you enjoy doing? Do you like art? Do you like mathematics? You know, would you be interested in teaching? Would you be interested in, you know, no one ever, no one ever had that conversation with me. And I don't even remember having that conversation with my dad. Now, obviously, I'm not blaming my dad. My dad was always at work and he wasn't always around. He was busy, you know, busy providing for, um, obviously, his family. But I'm, I, I think as I've got older, it's making me, it's made me think more about, if you like, my life choices and about which which direction I've actually gone in now my life my life has been I would say semi successful I've you know I've, I've achieved quite a few things and you know everything's uh, everything's okay but I I don't I don't think that anyone actually sat down and actually told me you know the options that were you know that were available to me and I think there's a lot of people now uh, and it might be that you're one of these people where you're, where you're perhaps um, doing a job that was kind of handy to you almost, or that someone said there was a position and you, you kind of went into it and you started doing it, uh, like doing it. And it might be that you started doing well at it, but no one ever asked you, do you enjoy doing it? And to me, this is a, um, it's a, uh, it's a fundamental mistake because. I know I've spent I've spent um, some of my life doing jobs that, if I'm honest about, I didn't really enjoy. But obviously, sometimes needs must, especially if you're like the man in the house or the lady in the house who has to earn all the money. Then obviously, obviously, you know, you have to you have to do these things. But I think to me, what I try and do now, I mean, my children, my my kids, one's twenty two, and the other one's seventeen. Um, um, my daughter, I'm, I'm trying to say to her now because she's kind of in between jobs, you know, what is it you really want to do? Give it some serious thought about what you want to do and why you want to do it and where you want to be in 5, 10, 20 years from now. Because if you set off in the right direction, then hopefully when you get there, you'll be glad you did. And to me, this is everything. You know, happiness, you know, in obviously in life is um, obviously work, rest and play. And it's happy to be, it's um, important to be happy in whatever job you're doing. But uh, um, I do honestly think, you know, I know a lot of people, they kind of 
they're in jobs and when you talk to them about it, they kind of fell into it or they just went for a job because it was in the paper and they kind of spent, you know, three or four years doing it and they're not, they might not be ultra happy about it. And to me, I think, well, hold on a minute, you've got to, um, you know, it's your life. You get to decide, you get to decide to some degree what you want to do. And this is definitely important with, uh, um, obviously, kids leaving school. You know, if you're, if you're like me, and not, obviously I have to earn most of the money that comes into my home, it would be difficult for me to head in a different direction now and to retrain and uh, do something else. Although it wouldn't be impossible, but obviously, you know, it would cost money and it would take time, which makes it more difficult. But obviously your children... Um, you know, school leavers, or if they're 14, 15, and they're wondering about what they they want to do, I think it's, a, um, it's something that a parent must do, must be, you know, really, really put a lot of importance on it, into finding out what you think your children would enjoy doing, and if there is some sort of way that they could actually go and do it, and earn money at it, because they're going to be spending the next 25, 30 years of their life doing it, you know, longer. You know, I'm 51 now, and I've been working since I was 16. So obviously, you know, some people work 40, 50 years. So um, this video really is just to try and make you, yeah, it might be that you're the person that's um, looking to think about what you're doing, or it might be that you're a parent, and you've got to obviously try and steer your children in the right direction. But um, it's just to make, I think, make, you, make your kids be aware of the importance of, of what they're doing and why they're doing it and where they want to go, yeah. Because they're, um, you know, you, you only get one life, and I think I think it's really really important. And like I say, because I know how I kind of fell into jobs, you know, I wasn't always given the right guidance. And uh, um, um, I think this is what we've got to tell our kids about. We've got to get them to think that they are um, um, obviously able, you know, because a lot of kids. Um, Sometimes they think that they're like inadequate and they can't or they haven't got the brains to do something. And I just think as parents, we need to um, inspire them. You know, if we think that they have got that ability, that they, it might be they're gifted, it might be they're good at drawing or they're good at cooking or, or whatever it is they're good at, we need to inspire them. And if you like, head them in a direction that perhaps he's not always going to earn them the most money. Yeah, so we're... Um, yeah, I'll say that again. It's you know, it's not always going to earn them those earn them the most money because money, whilst money is important, it ain't the be all and end all. Happiness is a uh, is fa is a far more precious commodity than money, and uh, um, I think this is this is a mistake that some people make. I know I've done it. I've you know, you've chased after money, and you could have perhaps headed in a, in a different direction that might make, that might have made you happier. And I think, obviously, like I say, when, when they're leaving school and they haven't got to earn loads of money, this is the time to do it. This is the time, if you like, to try and make their, um, make, to make them believe that they can be whatever they want to be. Obviously, within reason, you know, obviously that, you know, obviously everyone's got a certain IQ and there's some things which, you know, you as a parent might think your children are not, are not able to achieve. But you never know, Yeah. I think the beauty with uh, reaching high achievement in different areas, like different jobs, different studies in life, is made easier if you've got a passion for it. If you've got a passion for it, yeah? You know, if you take a person that's highly educated and get them to try and do something in another, in another area, and then you find somebody who might be less um, educated, but you try and get them to do something that they're passionate about, I'd put my money on the passionate person every time because you need that desire to succeed. And this is what I think a lot of young people don't have. They don't have that desire because they've not been made to think about it or they've not been asked to think about what they would really like to do. I've recently had this conversation with my daughter. She's in between jobs and I'm saying a lot, you know, you ain't got to rush in and, and jump into anything, yeah, I said, you're only 22, you know, you can do, you know, you can do really whatever you want to do, um, if you want to do a subject that perhaps um, requires a higher academic um, 
level, like a different pass, if you like. I said, so then you merely need to, need to obviously do the do the other stuff to get to that level. But it is achievable if you want to achieve it. And that's what I think a lot of parents don't do with their kids. Um, everyone's too busy. You know what I mean? Everyone's too busy and can't be bothered or or they're out and they're, 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 they're like ships that pass in the night and they don't have these conversations. Um, I know sometimes these conversations are difficult. I've had, you know, I've been, I've had conversations with my daughter recently and like, you know, a, a father and his daughter, you know, we never seem to see eye to eye on any, on any, on any subject. And often I wonder that if I'm, if I'm trying to inspire her in a, to go in a certain direction, like, am I, am I kind of, um, pushing her the other way, I, I just don't know, obviously, you know, no one knows the secret of parenting, you can only do what you believe, believe is right, but I think it's a conversation that you need to have with your children, it's definitely something that you need to make them aware about, they need to be aware of the importance of what they're going to do for the rest of their life, and if it ain't something that they really want to do, don't push them to do it, because they won't do it, they might do it for a couple of years, they might do it for three years, they might do it for five years. But in the end, they will say, do you know what, I don't know why I've done that. I didn't really want to do that. And they'll come out of it anyway. You know what I mean? So um, I just I just think it's a, it's a worthwhile subject. It's something that are, um, I think is important. That's why I've done this video about it. It's something that I'm, like I said, I'm having this conversation with my daughter at the moment. And I think it's an important one. Um... I'm going to end my video there. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to it. Um, I really appreciate your your uh, viewing. Um, like I say, it's something to really consider talking to your children about, um, so as not to perhaps make the mistake that I made when I was young. Um, yeah, pre please, if you can, if you did watch to the end, thank you so much. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. All my videos are aimed at helping people in some way shape or form I, I try and do things that are um which if you like affect me um you know obviously my life you know, finances work health i've done different videos on about the different things in my life which are obviously um affecting me and uh, um i hope my channel can be about to you um yeah please if you can please like i really appreciate it if you subscribe and uh, like i say give me give this video a thumbs up and uh, I hope to see you on another one of my videos. And uh, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much.